Hey there everyone, I'm the Almighty Zentaco. Today we're going to be learning about resolution and window controls. Uh, this seems to be a concept that some people are confused about, so I thought this would be a good thing to go over. Uh, hopefully after this video you understand how resolution functions within applications and what we can do with the window control. So what we have right now is I just have a frame set up. This frame is uh, 19,200 pixels by 10,800 pixels. Okay, so that's very big. Uh, I just wanted a bunch of empty space to show the difference between the window and the frame. Now, you should know by now, if you use this program, that the frame is essentially the level. Uh, so what can be displayed, what can be scrolled to, it's like your workspace. Whereas the window is literally your window application that you're going to see within Windows. It is the viewport of which everything is shown. So to affect the window uh, settings, we want to click on the application. So go to the window and you'll see window size. Now this number here, which is currently set to 640 by 480, which would be showing this box here. Let's run it and see. So all we see is the 640 by 480 box. This is our native resolution, okay? So if I were to change this to like 1280, and this can be any number you want, it could even be bigger than your window screen, 1280 by 720, we're gonna run this again, and now we can see both resolutions are fitting into this. So what's happening is the window is expanding and showing more of the frame. Now let's take a look at it again. And you will notice that, let's see, let's see what happens when we resize uh, this window, when we grab and drag. So as you see, we're actually, it's not resizing or um, it's not altering the way that the native resolution looks. It's actually just showing us less of the application itself. Um, and most games and stuff don't work this way. They actually will shrink or expand um, the the resolution, the, the frame that you're looking at, the, the viewport. So to do that, we want to go down to a setting called Resize Display to Fill Window Size. So let's run this now. So now what happens when we expand downward? Well, as you see, it, uh, it shrank those pixels. It got a little weird looking, but you know, it did shrink. So we're still seeing the actual, what we set as the native resolution, we're still seeing that entire screen that we wanted to set up. We're just making it look different and squishing it down so we can see it. And we can expand it out as well. This can be, you can do this anyway, uh, out or in, or even resize it completely, not following the aspect ratio of your application. Um, now, this is probably the best bet if you are making pixelated games because a pixelated game is going to have a low resolution, like something like 320 by 240, and that would be really tiny. So if you only let people view it in the native, it would be a tiny box like this. Um, and whereas you probably want to expand that window out, but keep the initial view ratio. So you would want to probably select resize display to fill window size. Now, if you want to force what is seen to retain its aspect ratio, select fit inside black bars. Let's see what that does. So we're gonna squish this down. Uh, as you see now what's happening is it is keeping the aspect ratio, which is really good, but we are now getting this empty space around the application. But uh, by default that's white, we can actually control the color. So if we go up here to the border color and select something, uh, I'm gonna make it black because I think that's a pretty nice color to have as a border. Now when we resize, you will see that it in fact shows black. So that's actually my favorite way to do this. Um, okay, another thing to consider is you can get rid of the heading and the heading when maximized. If we run the application without those, you will see that there's no heading. So we, we have no button to click to close or to maximize. So you'll have to go to your application, right click and close. So you might wanna keep those. Uh, another thing is you can anti-alias when resizing. That'll just make it look smoother. Probably not a good idea if you're doing pixel art, um, unless it's high-res pixel art. So, you know, that's up to you. Same thing with the menu. That will show or not show the menu. Uh, you've got other settings, too. You can have it maximized on boot up, which, you know, that will do what it says. When you start it, it will be maximized. Um, you can get rid of the frame thickness, the thick frame, uh, get rid of the minimize box, the maximize box, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so... All right, so now I'm gonna insert an object just so I can have a flag. I wanna have a flag I can control. So I'm gonna throw this up here and I'm going to make it so you can toggle full screen. We're gonna do that by doing a button press. So the keyboard, upon pressing a key, I'm gonna make that key F1. We're gonna to toggle flag zero on this object. So go to toggle 
And all that does is when you press it and if it's off, it'll be on. And if it's on, when you press it, it'll turn off. So now we're gonna set up the states. So go to flag, is flag on, that's flag zero. Go to it again, flag is flag off, and that's flag zero. Now flags are off by default, so that will be the initial state. Um, and we're going to set up a full screen and a windowed mode, depending on what the flag is. So when it's on, I want it to be full screen. So you wanna click up here on the storyboard controls, go to um, screen, full screen mode. And down here, screen, windowed mode. Let's run it and see. Pressing F1, full screen. Now as you see, it did expand outward and it has kept its aspect ratio, so that's really nice. Boom, all right, back down. So let's go ahead now and look at the window control object. <clears throat> right here, I'm gonna toss this thing in. Okay, so the window control object can actually do a lot of stuff. You can ask a lot of questions about your window, like is it maximized, minimized, visible? Does it have focus, which means is it the current application on top? Um, you know, is it attached to the desktop? Is it active? Uh, stuff like that. So uh, what we're gonna do is start up a, set a start a frame event and we're going to do something called, well, first you can set title. That is what is displayed as the title of your application. So we could call this like uh, Windows uh, Resolution Example, okay? So that'll change at start. We will now see Windows Resolution Example as the title. Um, there's something called position. This is pretty important. Very useful. When you set the position, there are a bunch of different positions. Now, this isn't like an X, Y position. Uh, this is actually positions relative to the window. So zero would, will dock it in the top left. One will dock it at the top center. Two will dock it top right. Three is middle left. Four is dead center. Five is right, you know, right center, so on and so forth. So I like to use um, zero, one, two, three. I like to use four. That puts it right in the middle. So if we run the application, it is centered. That's pretty useful. <clears throat> we can also resize the window. So like if you change the X size to like 5,000 at the start and we run it, it's 5,000. Okay, now let's say you wanted to change, let people, the user change the um, actual native resolution and not just scale up your window and stuff. Um, to do this, first we want to go to the applications uh, window control settings and we want to uncheck resize display to fill window size okay so we're going to do a start of frame event and what we want to do is we want to resize the frame window now the frame window is pretty much this up here this is the frame window um you're going to have to do two things though if you make it, if you scale it up, you're also going to need to change the size of the window itself. Otherwise it won't reflect. So we will do that now. We will say frame window, set width, and we're gonna make it 1920. Uh, we're not going to change the frame size. And then we are going to make it by 1080. Again, not changing the frame size. Then we need to actually resize the window. So we'll make that 1920 and we'll make it by 1080. Let me see what order these are in. Set the title, set the position. Let's set the position after we resize everything. Um, I'm pretty sure this is correct. Let's, let's make sure. I might have done that in the wrong order. Nope, there you go. It has resized it, scaled it up, and allowed you to change the resolution. As you see, it didn't just expand. If we had simply uh, changed the X and Y size of the window, it would have expanded outward. Um, but no, this, this allowed us to see more. Changing the native resolution. All right, let's go ahead and delete this here where we are setting the width of frame window and see what happens. We're just resizing the actual window without resizing the frame window. And we are 1280 by 720, okay, right now. Uh, as you saw before, it, it expanded out the resolution to 1920 by 1080. But if we just get rid of that and leave the resizing of the window, that's the window's window, and run this, we got black bars and the resolution is still 1280 by 720.
All right, guys, so this is how a changing resolution uh, works within Click Team Fusion. It's actually pretty much how resolution works in any application. Um, so I thought that this would be useful to show you guys kind of something more basic that people seemed confused about. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, if you're interested in getting involved in the community, please join my Discord channel. It's a great place to learn and uh, work together on projects. And uh, if you feel like throwing something in the hat, click on the Patreon link. You know, helps me out. So, guys, uh, thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.